Cześć, tutaj Moni and welcome to Learn Polish with Advanced Lesson 35. And I promised that I would introduce you to someone today and I'm going to introduce you to my podcast character, uh, Grażena. Um, I need to tell you a little bit more about the podcast because it is very, very um, successful, I've got to say. I'm really, really proud of it. And um, I know that many of my YouTube uh, subscribers also listen uh, to this podcast. And as a YouTuber, I would like to give you a little bit uh, information about what's also available uh, apart from uh, YouTube at this stage. But don't worry, I'm not going to ask you to purchase anything or, or buy anything, uh, subscribe to anything. I'm, I'm a terrible saleswoman. <laughs> so just a few words about the podcast. Um, I've been creating a podcast um, for... Um, about five years now. Um, uh, the podcast is called Polski z Grażyną. It's been used by many schools around the world, um, but many teacher, uh, teachers it featured on Reddit, um, had a third place, I think, in Memoprio as one of the most hilarious and um, innovative podcasts ever. Um, and it's uh, built around a fictional character called Grażyna, uh, Grażyna is a yoga instructor who lives in Kraków uh, in Poland and she, you meet her family, meet her best friend, her grandmother uh, Zosia, um, uh, her mother who is a pianist, um, you also uh, meet her brother, uh, so extended family members and each family member has got a certain role in the podcast. So for instance, Papcia Zosia, grandmother Zosia, uh, as an elderly woman who talks a, a lot about her past, you uh, learn past tense and aspect of the verb. So uh, I'm sneaking in different grammatical things uh, in the podcast as well. It's entirely in Polish and it's produced by me. I'm the only person doing this podcast um, there is a, a, well, actually, that's not true. Uh, the person that Grażyna uh, falls in love with is uh, played by my uh, husband. Uh, so uh, Tom Jones is my husband. I'm not doing the voice of Tom Jones, but apart from Tom Jones uh, and few uh, few guests in a podcast, I'm doing entirely everything. So uh, it's absolutely hilarious. And you can imagine I've got a lot of fun with it. I'm really having a lot of fun with it. Um, uh, now, um, this is a great option for those uh, learners who are taking Polish seriously, who want to become fluent quicker, because you listen to the podcast, uh, first episode is just one sentence long, and it takes you from basically zero to hero. Uh, you start from absolute zero, and then you build on each episode, learning just a little bit more, few more words, um, nothing major, and by, um, you know, in, within a few months, you're finding yourself building longer sentences. So um, that's the whole purpose of it. And uh, I'll give you the link in, in, in a video, but it's absolutely optional simply because I want to introduce you to Grażyna in a different way than I'm doing it on podcast, obviously. Uh, but I'm going to introduce you to Grażyna, show you a little bit uh, about her uh, today, and I'm going to do it as a lesson, obviously, as I'm not going to just... Uh, um, go on and on about the podcast. I want you to learn. Um, so let's see what I prepared today for you. Um, uh, and here she is, that's Grażyna, and you can laugh as much as you want. And this is the character created by me, that's Grażyna. And you can see that Grażyna is a yoga instructor in Polish, po polsku, instructorka yogi. Uh, the word yogi will never change, okay? Uh, you will be declining and changing the word instructorka, but yogi will stay the same, okay? So instructorka yogi, yoga instructor. She's got a brother, uh, Tobias. Uh, she's got a best friend, Natalia. She's got a grandmother, Zosia, and mother, Yolanta. Uh, that's just a few characters from the podcast. That not that's not everybody. Uh, Natalia, her best friend, has a guinea pig and a bunny at home, and her mother is a musician, a pianist, but a musician. In this lesson, I uh, I will ask you to use the word musician. She also has a dog called Mumek. 
uh, here we've got had likes and dislikes. So she likes coffee, she likes chocolate, two nouns and three verbs. She loves to read, uh, she likes to feed birds and she likes to go shopping. What uh, she doesn't like is to hoover, to go to the dentist, so two verbs and one noun, she doesn't like pizza. Uh, she also has a boss called Stepan Kowalski. Uh, her boss uh, doesn't have a brother, but her boss has a sister. And also her boss has a uh, tortoise at home, uh, as you can see here. And believe me that you can say it all in Polish. After 35 lessons with me, today, I will prove it to you if you watch the videos, uh, if you learn uh, cases and uh, watch it all carefully, you will be able to say it on in Polish. And this is our task for today. So uh, for those of you, that's just a, um, a quick shout out to my YouTube subscribers who also subscribe the podcast. Uh, um, this will be something new to you because um, uh, you hear in a podcast, you hear Grażyna uh, uh, talking and uh, her family and uh, all the dialogues and everything. But here we will be talking about her. So this will be slightly different exercise for you all. And also for those of you who doesn't subscribe, this will be an additional good exercise to practice. Uh, at some point in the future, you will see how Babcia Zosia, this strange... <laughs> character here will teach you aspect of the verb. Uh, I'm all for um, teaching with humor and with fun. Uh, I hate boring, um, dull lessons. So I hope this will bring you a different, uh, bring you Polish to a different level. Basically, you, I really would like you to think about it as fun way of learning. Mm, okay. Uh, so, uh, if you want to do it on your own and have a go, you can stop the video right now and write it all down. Um, that would be a good practice and see um, uh, if you get it right. Uh, what I'm going to do next is to first walk you through the grammar that you would have to do. Therefore, I don't want to just start explaining um, uh, this to you. If you want to have a go, absolutely do it. Uh, but I'm going to explain now what kind of grammar you would need to use uh, to, to, uh, yes, to use in order to get it uh, right. And then at the very end, I'm going to say it all correctly. And then you're going to see the written version of it. Okay, so this is our uh, 35th lesson today uh, done in this way. Okay, uh, right. So, instructorka yogi. Grażyna is a yoga instructor, uh, so you would have to use instrumental case because you are dealing with the situation of who is who. Grażyna is a yoga instructor. You would change this word, but not this one, as I said previously. Yogi stays the same, right? So just instructorka goes in, uh, in uh, instrumental. Think accusative now. She's got a brother. Tobias, okay? The word brat as well as Tobias would have to go into accusative, okay? Both both words, brat and Tobias, right? She also has a best friend, Natalia, both words in accusative. She has, right? So subject, verb, object, um, accusative. Natalia has a guinea pig, and rabbit, little uh, bunny at home. Think about how we say that, right? It was in the previous lessons. She also has a grandmother, Zosia, both, uh, both words in accusative. Uh, mother, Yolanta, again, accusative case. And her mother uh, is a musician. Think instrumental. We are again dealing with the situation of who is who. She also has a dog, Mumek, right? Think about how words ending ek, like vujek, right? A change in accusative. And also um, uh, remind uh, yourself, go back to uh, how we change P 
pièce and accusative. It's kind of different. It's got a different form, right? Uh, now we've got likes and dislikes of Grajana. She likes coffee and chocolate. So we've got two nouns, think accusative, and then three verbs, infinitives that wouldn't change. So she likes to read, she likes to feed birds, and she likes to go shopping. What doesn't she like now? Right, we've got two verbs, so don't worry, you just need the infinitives. She doesn't like to hoover, and she doesn't like to go to the dentist. Previous lessons, right? And we've got one noun, she doesn't like pizza. And because we've got a noun here, you would have to use the genitive case for that. Why? Because we've got negated verb with the object, right? Subject, negated verb, object. What kind of noun it is, think about the gender, how uh, you would change that into genitive case, okay? Now, she's got a boss, Stepan. Don't worry about the surname. Um, a uh, surname will be declined, changed as, in other words, changed as an, uh, as an adjective. So uh, if you find it too difficult, don't worry about it. Just focus on the first name, okay? If you do want to be challenged a little bit, change the surname as you changed adjectives, okay? Um, so she's got a boss called Stepan Kowalski. So think accusative for those two. Uh, her boss doesn't have a brother, think genitive, negated um, uh, verb plus object, and he's got a sister, think accusative. And also her boss has a tortoise at home. Uh, what is the word for tortoise? How do we change that word in accusative? It's slightly different, that's why it's here, uh, together with the word P.S. Okay, I didn't include the word for tortoise here. You need to uh, know it by now. So I can assure you, you are able to do it. To do it, you can do this. Okay. So stop the video if you have to, because in the next part, I'm going to reveal the answer. Okay. So, Grażyna jest instructorką yogi. Ona ma brata Tobiasza, przyjaciółkę Natalię. Natalia ma świnkę morską i króliczka w domu. Grażyna ma babcię Zosię, mamę i mamę Jolantę. Jej mama jest muzykiem. Grażyna ma psa mumka. Grażyna lubi kawę, czekoladę, lubi czytać, karmić ptaki i robić zakupy. Ona nie lubi odkurzać, chodzić do dentysty i nie lubi pizzy. Ona ma szefa Szczepana Kowalskiego. Szczepan ma brata nie ma siostry. Szczepan ma żółwia w domu. If you had anything close to that, well done to you. This is a lot. After 30, just 35 short lessons, um, if you are able to say that, well done to you. If you find it too challenging, go back to certain lessons. If you uh, made mistakes with instrumental case or genitive case, um, uh, just go back to these lessons and, uh, and revise again. Just to clarify, uh, I think I instinctively use the word yay, uh, which is her or hers, um, which I think is introduced in the podcast in, in just the first episode, uh, but I don't think we had it in this lessons. So I said her 
mother is a musician. I said, yay, mama, jest muzykiem. But you could also say, mama jest muzykiem, or mama Jolanta jest muzykiem. If you have it like this, it's absolutely fine. So I apologize if this is uh, confusing any, uh, anyway. Yay, her or hers. Okay, so let me write it down for you now. So here it is, how it should look like when it's written. It's, it's one of the uh, possibilities. It's not just, uh, it's not the only um, version that you could have. Uh, so let's see. Um, to jest Grażana. Grażana jest instruktorką jogi. Ona ma brata Tobiasza i przyjaciółkę Natalię. Natalia ma w domu świnkę morską i króliczka. Grażyna ma babcie Zosię i mamę Jolantę. Mama jest muzykiem. Grażyna ma psa, mumka. Ona lubi kawę i czekoladę. Lubi czytać, karmić ptaki i robić zakupy. Ona nie lubi odkurzać, chodzić do dentysty i nie lubi pizzy. Ona ma szefa, Szczepana Kowalskiego. Szczepan nie ma brata, ma siostrę. Szczepan ma żółwia w domu. So well done to you. I hope you enjoyed today's lessons and let me know please in the comments below uh, if you find it useful, if it's something that you would uh, like to do maybe more often. Uh, and um, uh, yes, and I think next time I'm going to uh, introduce uh, the words uh, for fruit this time in uh, masculine and in feminine and neuter if I find any. Uh, and uh, we are going to practice with a little bit more uh, vocabulary and also uh, genitive and accusative singular. Dziękuję bardzo. Ha!